Hey, this is Jake. And Dylan. And this is our top 10 slash 11 wide receivers for the 2023 NFL Draft. All right, we got a three-way tie for number nine, which is how we end up with 11 players. We're going to start off with Jaden Reed. He stands at 5'11 and weighs in at 187 pounds. And he runs a 445 40-yard dash. So he'd be one of those guys that'd be good, little quick guy, uh, do, do, doing those kind of things. He's probably not going to be a top tier wide receiver, but he could definitely have a, his place in the NFL. Uh, the next guy he is tied with is Michael Wilson. He stands at six foot two and weighs in at two hundred thirteen pounds and runs a four five eight forty yard dash. That was a 6'2 guy, right? Yeah. So he's a little bit bigger of a guy, uh, a little bit slower, but uh, he's good for those contested catches, bigger catch radius. And so he will be good at those kinds of things. Uh, he's also probably not really your starter, but he's a real good role player. He can maybe pass as a your wide receiver too. All right, next we got A.T. Perry. He stands at six foot four and weighs 198 pounds and runs a 447 40 yard dash. So he is pretty quick, not quite as quick as Jaden Reed, uh, but he's a little bit taller. So he kind of could work a little bit of both roles. He could be a viable number two, possibly. Uh, and the rating for all three of those guys is a 62. Uh, we're going to move on to our tie at seventh place, which is Kayshawn Boutte. He stands at five foot eleven and weighs one hundred and ninety five pounds and runs a four five zero forty yard dash. So he's another one of those shifty little guys, uh, not quite as fast as some of the, the guys below, but a little bit better overall skill. Uh, these guys are rated at a 63. Uh, the next guy is Rasheed Rice. He stands at six foot one. He weighs in at 204 pounds and runs a four, five, one, four yard dash. So about the same speed, a little bit taller. Um, not much else there to talk about. He's a pretty decent little receiver. Uh, number six guy, Jalen Hyatt. He stands at six foot. It weighs 176 pounds and runs a 4 4 0 40 yard dash, which is the fastest out of our top 10 or 11 wide receivers. So his overall is a 64. Uh, his biggest drawback is that uh, low weight. Uh, he's fast, but he can get bumped off his routes very easily. He can and um, struggle with anything that's intricate route-wise. He's more of a straight-line speed guy, so that's why I have him here. I know other people have him quite a bit higher, but, I mean, speed is good, but you got to be able to do other things also in the NFL. So number five is Cedric Tillman. He stands at 6'3", weighs in at 213 pounds. And runs a four by four forty yard dash. So this is your bigger receiver. It's kind of the opposite of Jalen Hyatt. I mean, he's still quick enough to get the job done at a four five four. Uh, he's a sixty five overall rating. Uh, he'd be a good inside uh, big target or outside threat with good catch radius. Uh, we'll take a break, break, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I uh, just want to go over a little bit again how we get our ratings and what they mean. You get the ratings uh, based off of film, speed, uh, their ability to cut, run routes. I uh, also look at their 10-yard splits, their 40-yard dash, their height, their weight, their ability to you know stay on routes, not get bumped off too easily. And I think that's about it. I probably missed something in there, but 
So the next guy is somewhere here. Jonathan Mingo. He stands at six foot two, weighs in at two hundred and twenty pounds, and has a full full six forty yard dash. Um, he's uh, rated seventy overall. He's obviously pretty quick. I mean, most of these forty times are pretty close together. He's a little bit bigger guy, not as big as some of the guys, but still pretty big. I uh, could pretty much do anything you want as a NFL wide receiver. He's uh, a little bit down on some people's list. I think mainly just production numbers and things like that, but I think he'll be pretty good in the league. Number three is Quinton Johnson. He stands at six foot three, weighs in at 208 pounds, and runs a 4-4-4-4-9 40 yard dash. So, again, he's bigger um, and can still run pretty quick. He's your typical, prototypical outside wide receiver. Can do just about anything. We have him at a 72 overall. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I like him there. Zay Flowers is our next guy. We have number two and a 79 overall. He stands at five foot nine, weighs 182 pounds, and runs a 4.42 40 yard dash. So he's going to be your quickster, uh, and he can do, you know, all that kind of stuff really well. I uh, just uh, I pref- I think the thing that separated him in the number one is just I kind of prefer the outside guy. He's a little more that's a little more versatility, more of the big guys. So, I mean, I kind of went through the list as their value, but that does play into it a little bit. So our number one guy with a 80 overall, so just above the other guy, is Jackson, Jackson Smith Njigba. He stands at six foot one, weighs in at 196 pounds, and runs a full four eight forty yard dash. Uh, so he can pretty much do anything you want, like I was just talking about. He's the best guy I saw in the draft. He's big. He's pretty tall. He's strong. He runs pretty fast. He can make run good routes. He can play anywhere on the field that you need him to. So that's why he's our number one receiver. Thank you, guys.